Hello, this is Hydatech, 19th of November 2011. Please excuse my cold. What I'm showing you here are a number of circuits I've put together to support the two-way conversation between the Arduino and the Muller motor. Up here I'm showing four of five driver boards. The fifth one isn't here. It's actually connected to an Arduino elsewhere undergoing tests which so far are going very, very well. Each coil pair will have a capacitor connected across it. I'm going to use 22 microfarad, 100 volt, 105 degree centigrade operating temperature capacitors. I've created this board to allow me to house all those capacitors in one place and allow for a straightforward connection. Now, each end of the coil gets connected to the opposite pin on these terminal blocks and it's done in such a way that the capacitors actually bridge those two pins effectively connecting in parallel to the coil to the coil pair rather in much the same fashion every coil pair is connected to a full wave bridge using exactly the same methodology and the main output of this board is a positive and a ground. These are referred to as the power rails in the Muller motor documentation. Right, now, recalling that uh, I stated this is a two-way conversation, I'll now move on to describe the outward bound part of the conversation. That is, the conversation where the Arduino, or the part of the conversation where the Arduino talks to the motor and what does it say and how does it say it well here we go this board allows the Arduino to pulse any one of up to 16 coils whilst remaining optically isolated from those coils the way it does it is by specifying to this board a 4-bit address which is then encoded by the 74HC154N chip and that turns on one of 16 outputs, which are connected by the opto isolators and the LEDs to each one of these pins on this terminal block. The 5 volt and ground will be connected to the Arduino, and the actual voltage, which is going to be used to do the actual pulsing across the coil, will be supplied on this pin here. Not a ground, there is no ground on there. It's just the positive volts connection there. The ground connection will be made elsewhere in the circuit on the Muller motor side of things. For the incoming part of the conversation, well that incoming part of the conversation is going to manifest itself as pulses from the Hall effect sensors. This board has been, has been created to allow up to 16 Hall effect sensors to be connected to it. Any one of those 16 incoming pulses will be decoded and manifest itself through this terminal block to the Arduino as a 4-bit address. Much the same way as this, but the absolute opposite. So that's 4-bit to 16-bit out. This is 16-bit in to 4-bit out. Okay? And of course, the board will be supplied with a 5-volt on ground from the Arduino.